Do we need to list all of our kids on our immigration applications? Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States at our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, D.C. In today's video, we're going to talk about a problem, a big, big problem that we see pop up often, and I'm just really perplexed as to why it happens. Most immigration forms, especially the big ones, applying for a green card or applying for U.S. citizenship, require you to list all children. Now, you would not believe the number of excuses and weird things that people ask me about listing children. Some people seem to be bending over backwards to not list every child, and I don't understand it. I understand that there might be weird situations. It might be a stepchild. It might be a child that you don't see anymore because you're your spouse or ex-spouse you don't see anymore. They might have taken the kid to some other country. There's all kinds of reasons why you might not list the child. But when you don't list the child, this can cause huge problems. And I can tell you why. Well, the first reason is you have to tell the truth. And the questions don't ask for qualifications. The questions ask, who are your children? List all of your children. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. You list all children, no matter what. There's no reason not to list a child. Now, you can get in trouble in your own case if you don't list that child. But the real reason that you need to list every child, besides making sure that you answer every question truthfully, is that you might, you never know, want to sponsor that child for an immigration benefit. And you would not believe the number of people who come to see us who say, Jim, I just got my green card. Jim. I just got my citizenship and I forgot or I neglected or I did not list one or more of my children on my prior immigration applications. Now I want to file an I-130 petition. Now, this is a real head scratcher. Why in the world would somebody not list a child early and then, then try to get them an immigration benefit? Here's what USCIS thinks. USCIS thinks that you were lying, that you were committing immigration fraud, that you were trying to have it both ways. You now want to sponsor someone who you never told us about. And USCIS has this standard, and that is if by hiding a fact you are thereby making it impossible for the immigration officer to inquire more fully on an issue that might have impacted your ability to get an immigration benefit, they can unravel that decision. They can go back and take away your green card. They could even come back and denaturalize you if it's severe enough. So you have to protect yourself by always telling the truth for your case and in their cases. You're not going to be able to sponsor a child who you never listed. If all of a sudden you say, oh, hey, USCIS, sorry, forgot to tell you, I have a 14-year-old son, my bad. Uh, can he come and get a green card? It's not going to work. It is not going to work. It is bad policy. It is a bad approach. You're setting yourself up for problems. You're going to keep your child, who might have a very strong right to come to the United States, from ever being able to exercise that right because you, for whatever reason, didn't list them previously. So take it from me. Always list the child. If anyone can tell me a reason why in the comments, there's a good reason not to list a child, including any other immigration lawyers. I'd love to hear it. I'm always happy to try to educate myself, but I honestly can't think of a reason why you wouldn't list your child. Now, we see a lot of funny business happening when people apply for the diversity visa or they apply for a visit visa or they apply for some other kind of visa and they don't list their children. Um, this is a real problem, and so don't do it. Uh, listen to this video again, watch this video again, and as my son used to say when he was little, listen to my words. List every child, plain and simple, on every form. Always be honest. Always tell the truth. You never know when it could come back and bite you. I hope this makes sense. If you're thinking of applying for a green card or an immigrant visa or you're trying to sponsor your child to come to the United States and you want our law firm's help, we would love to represent you. Give us a call at 314-961-8200. If you want to email us, you can do that too, info at hackingimmigrationlaw.com. Now, if you're someone who just likes receiving content and isn't really interested in hiring us, that's totally okay. Happy to have you learn from our videos and from all of our content, and we have lots of it for you. You can join us in our Facebook group, which is called Immigrant Home. It's a group of about 9,000 people currently, uh, immigrants and people who love immigrants who are going through the immigration process. They're talking about processing times, um, 
service centers, field offices, uh, embassies, and how long their cases are taking. We also have our YouTube channel where we uh, post new videos every single day, uh, every single week, I should say. And we also have our Immigration Answers Live show where we do our Immigration Answers show and I, and I talk to immigrants, answer their questions for free for an hour, three or four times a week. So lots of free resources for you. Also really happy to represent you if you're interested in hiring us to be your immigration lawyers. Thank you so much and have a great day.